Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm so excited right now because I'm going to make Riley's first puree food and it's gonna be avocado. If you guys are new here, my name is Ashley. I'm a licensed hairstylist. I do work at a salon here in Orlando, Florida and I do YouTube for fun. So if you guys wanna join the fam, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Ash Luna, to see a little bit more behind the scenes. Also forgot to mention, I am a new mommy to a baby girl. She is almost six months now. She's five and a half months. And yes, I'm going to attempt to make her first baby puree food with avocado. But before I do that, I want to make overnight chia pudding or just chia pudding. I did mention this in my last vlog and it's so good. And I really enjoyed eating it for breakfast for like the work week. So I'm gonna prep it today. Today is Monday and it is currently thunderstorming outside. That's why it looks a little bit darker. And it's also 2.35 p.m. Riley just went down for her third nap of the day. So I'm hoping this will be a long one because she hasn't really took a really long nap today. So while she's napping, I'm gonna prep some food. I also need to eat lunch and I'm gonna make the Chick-fil-A kale salad. I tried this salad the last week for the first time and it was so good. So I'm going to make it again this week. So yeah, I'm just gonna prep a couple things and then do her baby food. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes and hopefully I can do all this while she's sleeping. If you know, you know. I'm also still in my gym clothes because I did do a at home hot Pilates in my garage earlier this morning and then right after I fed her and then we went straight to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods to run errands and now we're back. And yeah, I haven't showered yet so just FYI. But I'm going to make the chia pudding first. So I've been putting it in a mason glass and it's just been really easy to like scoop out and stuff and store. So it's very, very easy. I just do a whole can of coconut milk. Last week I used the Goya coconut milk. No, I used the organic 365 from Whole Foods. Today I'm just gonna use the Trader Joe's. Let's see how that goes. That one is low fat. This one is reduced fat, so a little bit healthier. I'm also missing a press on nail on <laughs> this finger. I need to glue it back on. So we're gonna put this whole can of coconut milk in here. Actually, no, this is not how I did it last time. I need to do it in a separate bowl. I'm actually gonna put it in a bowl first because you're supposed to mis you're supposed to whisk the honey and the coconut milk together. Um, you're also supposed to add, I found this recipe on TikTok by the way, and then you're supposed to add um, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla extract in it too, but I just ran out, so I'm just gonna skip that step. And I'm just gonna add more honey. Just gonna do like a little drizzle of honey. I'm gonna add just a little extra because I don't have vanilla extract. And then I'm just supposed to whisk it up. I did buy some more chia seeds from Walmart and I'm laughing because guys, look how filled this is. I don't know if you can tell, let me move this out of the way. I don't know if you can tell, this thing is like filled to the brim. Like look, like it's past the little zip thing here. The closure, I thought that was so funny. This has to be like a oopsie because there's no way, there's just no way. As soon as I open this, it's gonna just burst out. Chia seeds everywhere. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, okay, so now you're gonna add five tablespoons of chia seeds. Five tablespoons, so. One, two, yeah, I need to get more in here. Uh, now I don't remember what tablespoon I left off on. I think it was two. I think this was supposed to be three, four, five. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. I honestly don't know. I'd rather, I don't wanna risk it and eat more chia seeds. Okay. Whisk, 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 whisk. Now that I remember, I did this in a measuring cup to pour it a lot easier. Yeah, this is just like an epic fill right now. Yeah, yeah. I just remembered I did it in this measuring cup last week and it poured a lot easier. Ah! And the mason jars. So now I'm just gonna pour the mixture in this mason jar without spilling. Okay, 
Here it is. Now I just pop it in the fridge and it will be ready for tomorrow morning. I have a whole bunch of kale that I got from Whole Foods. This part is the annoying part because you have to wash it and then I dry it really well and then gotta chop it up. But I think next time I'm just gonna pay the two extra dollars and get it in the bag that's already all chopped up and washed because it would be a lot more easier if I didn't have to do this. It's gonna taste just like Chick-fil-A kale salad. So good. Last week I bought a cabbage from Whole Foods and this week they were really heavy and I did not want to spend $4 on a head of cabbage so I just got this kale slaw mix. So I'm just gonna pour that in here with the rest of the kale. Yeah, that's good. This looks weird. Uh, I think I'm gonna add a little more. Yeah, I think that's good. And for the dressing, which I think is the best part of the salad, it's so good and it's actually really easy. So it's just two tablespoons of olive oil. And this dressing kind of goes a long way, so this amount is perfect. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Two tablespoons of maple syrup. And then two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. I just kind of eyeball it. Oops. I might have put a little too much. Oh, she woke up. There's no way. Okay, so now you're going to whisk it all together. And then you're going to pour the dressing all over your beautiful salad. And then you're just going to kind of toss it around. If you guys want the exact Chick-fil-A um, recipe, add a regular cabbage, regular chopped cabbage, but like I said, I didn't want to pen. Like I said, I didn't want to spend $4 on a head of cabbage at Whole Foods, so that's why I have this kale straw mix, but it's okay. So you're gonna mix it, and you're actually gonna let it sit for a couple minutes so the dressing can like marinate into the kale, so the kale is not so like leafy, if you know what I mean. So while this is sitting, I'm going to attempt to work on Riley's avocado puree and hopefully I can eat because I think she's waking up right now. <laughs> that was a short nap. Now moving on to Riley's baby food. She went back to sleep, hallelujah. I had a little panic attack there. <laughs> I was like, girl, you have not slept today. Come on. Okay, so moving on to Riley's food, I have three avocados. And by the way, this recipe, I just found in this book that I bought from Amazon, the organic baby food. It's really nice, gives you like the whole rundown on what to do with baby food and all that if you're making it yourself, buying organic and all that. So these are organic avocados that I got from Trader Joe's. So we're gonna open these bad boys up and pop them in. The recipe does call for three avocados, but you can adjust to your preference. And then I'm also gonna be mixing a little bit of formula. I just made this formula right now as our little like liquid mixer. And since this is gonna be her first time trying food, the book says you're only supposed to give her a teaspoon a day for like a week, which is crazy. <laughs> it sounds so little, but um, obviously she's not used to this. It's a whole new world for her. And what else? And you're also supposed to introduce one new food a week. And in the book, it says it's really good to start off with avocado and sweet potato. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, this is not working out for me. And also, the reason why I decided to make this myself and not buy package baby food, which I'm sure I will if I'm out on the run and I need something quick, is because it's like so expensive especially if you want to buy like good quality baby food which you should because you can't trust what's in those gerber baby jars <laughs> that's all processed and filled with junk so might as well just buy the ingredients organic and make it yourself at home and it's so much cheaper and 
you're still giving your baby good quality organic food without spending a million dollars on baby food. Now that I have all of the avocado in here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the formula. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add. Oops, little piece. I'm not sure how much I'm supposed to add, so I'm just gonna start with a little splash, and then we'll go from there. Okay, this is a very suspect tripod here. <laughs> All right, I have her baby food all in these little ice cube molds that I got from Marshalls. I actually bought baby molds um, that are coming from Amazon. They should be arriving today, but this is what her avocado puree ended up being like. It needs to be super runny, so this is like the perfect consistency. I ended up adding like a whole mini bottle of water because it was just very, very thick, and I added a little bit of the formula and then more water, so. Here we go. The rest of this, I'm gonna add in these little jars. These are little baby food jars. I got them from Amazon, I got them yesterday. So I'm just gonna wash these and then put the rest in here and then freeze them. So I'm gonna freeze this little tray. I'll probably give her her first little one um, maybe tomorrow. Just cause today it's already three o'clock and I don't know, I don't want to do it too late in the day and like upset her stomach if it doesn't work out. So, I'm very excited about this. I'm finally eating. This is what my salad looks like and I just have shredded up deli meat that I got from Whole Foods. It's the blackened, blackened turkey. It's okay, but I have noticed when I eat the deli meat with the salad, it takes away all the flavor from the salad. So, I just have it on the side. Salad is so good. And I added chopped almonds on it. So good. So I'm going to finally eat my lunch. Baby girl is still sleeping. She's been sleeping for an hour now. Hallelujah. And I have a mess in the kitchen I need to clean up once I'm done here. She's moving around. So I'm done here. So yeah. I have a huge mess in the kitchen I need to clean up once I'm done. Also forgot to mention that Ryan is not here today or for the next two days. He's at a work event in Orlando actually, but it's like 45 minutes away and he has to stay at the hotel, the conference. So it's just me riding the dogs. For dinner, I decided to make my own kava at home. <laughs> what do you think, Riley? It turned out so good. I didn't do the Greek meatballs just because I wanted something more fresh. So I made a chicken on the stove with arugula, white rice. This is basically my kava order except the pico. I made the pico myself. I hate tomatoes, but if I make it myself, I like it better. I have cucumbers, avocado, sugar that I got from Trader Joe's. Tzatziki from Whole Foods, feta cheese, and I think that's it. I'm so excited to taste this. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep I am laying in bed. I'm so tired. It's 9 o'clock now I think and I put Riley to sleep at like 7.30 
And then I took the dogs out, I cleaned up the kitchen. I just chilled on the couch and watched TikTok for like a couple minutes and now I'm upstairs. I'm gonna watch a little bit of TV and go to sleep. I'm so tired. It's just me and you tonight. And Stormy's downstairs sleeping. My plan tonight was after Riley went to sleep. I was gonna edit a YouTube video tonight, but I am so tired, guys. I've been like nonstop today. Just taking care of Riley and like trying to do like my other errands. I also woke up at 5. I was supposed to wake up at 6 a.m. and do at home Pilates, but Riley's fire alarm was beeping because the battery needed to be changed. And of course, Ryan is in here, so I had to figure it out myself. And that kind of pushed my morning back. So, yeah. Luckily, Ryan was able to come during his like little break to replace the battery because I tried my best and I could not replace that battery. So, shout out to Ryan for saving the day. I'm gonna go to sleep now and we will catch up tomorrow. Finally gluing my nail back on. I literally have layers of glue in here because this nail has broke maybe like five times already. <laughs> but oh well. All right, we are back in business. Hello, it is the next day. Um, I woke up at 6 a.m. I did a little at-home Pilates class. That little ball you guys saw in the video, I actually bought that yesterday from Target and I got it delivered through Instacart. And it's like a Pilates ball. Stormy is obsessed with balls and she kept trying to like attack it the whole time while I was working out. So that was a little annoying, <laughs> but it was a really good workout. I'm actually really sore from the last two days I've worked out. On Sunday, I went to Planet Fitness and I went heavy on my legs. And then yesterday I did hot Pilates in my garage. So I'm feeling it today. My camera's about to die. So I'm gonna quickly make breakfast and then I'm gonna go change my battery. But my chia pudding did not come out good, guys. Oh, the sink. Oh my God, the sink broke. My chia pudding did not come out good because I used the reduced fat. And I think the recipe works better with like full fat coconut milk. So unfortunately it's very liquidy, but I'm gonna make it work. This looks so good. Can't wait to eat it. This is my breakfast. I'm going to do my weekly sales, respond back to clients and messages, and then I need to start packing up because, because I'm actually gonna meet up with my best friend at 11 a.m. We're gonna take our daughters to this little baby music class that's new in Orlando. I'm excited to have Riley around other babies. Well, her daughter's not a baby. Her daughter is almost three years old, but it's from babies up until four years old, I believe. So I'm excited to see them and have a little play date. So I need to get ready once I'm done here and pack everything together, like her diaper bag and all that. So that way I can give her her bottle when she wakes up and we're out the door. I am about to wake up. Oh my God, I should probably do this I'm looking at the mirror. I'm about to go wake up Riley. I'm gonna change her, give her a bottle, and then we're gonna head out to the little music class we're going to. Just put lipstick on. I'll just put my little lippy on. This is my little fit for today. I haven't worn this outfit since last summer. I went to New York. It was back in August, like literally a year ago. And I was, I think, five weeks pregnant. And I haven't worn this outfit since. I forgot how cute and comfortable this dress is. I probably want to get more colors in this. It's from Set Active. Should be cute. Good morning. Oh, wait, big girl. She ain't so heavy. She ain't so heavy. I ain't so heavy. Good morning. <laughs> you say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's put your little outfit on. Ow, my hair. Ow. 
Yeah, you love looking at yourself in the mirror. <laughs> it's six months, so I figured I'll put it on her now before she gets too big. So we're gonna put this cute little outfit on you, mama. Let's show everyone how pretty you look, big girl. Oh, my big girl. Oh, let's put your little buttons on. Let's show everyone how pretty you are. Wow. Riley, look. Look how pretty you are. She wants to eat her dress. But this is her outfit of the day. Super cute. I love you. Back home and that was such a cute little class. I'm glad I went. Riley had so much fun with the rest of the kids and the little babies. I also got to see my best friend Michelle, her baby Alessandra, and then also my friend Louis and his baby Sunday. So we had a cute little play date. I'm back home, it's 12.28 p.m. She, it was her nap time by the time we left. So she slept about 20 minutes on the way back home. And then I just put her in her crib and her sleep sack. So I'm hoping she, falls back asleep because right now is her nap time and she hasn't really napped much today so let me check the camera and see <laughs> she's chewing on her sleep sack but she should be falling asleep pretty soon so i'm going to take all this stuff out this is my lunch now that i'm eating it i'm actually not that hungry but whatever it's in my face now so i'm just gonna eat it stormy has her little b-e-a-l-l here she wants me to throw it. <sighs> I'm just gonna eat a little bit of this salad. Bon appetit. I think I'm gonna finally start scrapbooking. I've held it off for a while now and I think I have some time. Baby girl is playing with Storm Storm. <laughs> Stormy loves giving her a million kisses a day. It's a good girl, Stormy. You love Riley. <laughs> So she's actually chilling. Um, she hasn't independently play by herself in a hot minute because she's in her clingy area. I'm gonna let her be and take advantage of this moment I have. <laughs> she's actually due for a nap in I think 10 minutes. No, in 20 minutes she's due for her third nap. So until then I'm gonna take advantage of how like, good she is right now. She's always a good baby. She's just like in a little fussy leap. They call it leaps. She's in leap five right now and just started today and i feel like it started a couple days ago she's been a little extra fussier than normal i think it's a combination of like the leap and she's teething i she's starting to teeth there's no tooth coming out yet but she's just like gnawing on everything storm i know you love giving her kisses stormy just gives her a million kisses a day um Anyways, I'm in my glam room. This chair, I need to get a new chair so bad. Like, I, it drives me crazy. But this back there is Ryan's Beetlejuice costume from like two, three years ago. I need to sell it either on Facebook Market or Poshmark or Depop. I think I'm gonna do Facebook Market just to avoid like the shipping costs. So that's why it's there to remind me to list it. But I'm gonna finally, hi, hi. <laughs> Story just wants all the attention. Right, Storm Storm? Term, term. You just want the attention. Mm. I have my little scrapbook tote here that I started back in my birthday during my maternity leave. I started scrapbooking, like I said, back on my maternity leave back in April. Yeah, April, because like all the stuff for my birthday. And it started off with just like Riley, which I still need to finish her cover. <laughs> I have like the rough draft of her name. I just need to paint it. But I started off with just her and like her monthly updates like you know first I started with like mom and dad, Luke and Stormy, um, baby shower, her due date or her, her arrival and then I have one month, two month, three month or is this three months? Three months yeah and then four months and she is oh my god she's about to be six months I didn't do her five months wow I, I'm slacking I need to do her five months like right now okay so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna do her five month update but I did buy another one because I just like love the whole scrapbooking that I did a person that I'm gonna do a personal one I haven't started yet it's a blank canvas but I have some pictures that I printed out and I want to do oops, I just want to do like you know life stuff I go to an event 
or like a concert or something or something with Ryan, anniversary. I definitely want to just like scrapbook. I feel like it's so much fun and it keeps my creative mind like going because I'm not like a TV movie person. I can't, unless it's like reality TV, like Big Brother, Real Housewives, like Jersey Shore, something like that I can watch, but I don't like just watch movie or TVs. Ryan does, but I don't. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Enough with the rambling. We do have two different photo print options. This one is the Instastax. This is a, so this prints any photo into a Polaroid film. So for instance, that is what I use to print her. As you can see, like it prints Polaroid. That's a really <laughs> flattering photo of me. Um, but then I didn't really love like the, but then I just wanted like more of like a basic print. So something like this where it's just very basic and I did buy the HP yeah the SP rocket so I got this this prints into a sticker I feel like I don't I don't use the sticker so I wish it didn't print in a sticker form but that's just like the only option I've like done so many research you can't just put like regular like paper in here it has to be like the sticker so that kind of sucks because I feel like it's kind of like thick and bulky I just end up not using it but yeah, those are the two photo things I print. But lately I've just been printing like regular paper photos. I do it on my iPad and then I just send it over to Office Depot because my printer only prints black ink. So I just send it to Office Depot and it's like really cheap. I think it's like 10 cents or like six cents a page. So it's not bad. So I wanna do her five months and then also like start working on my personal scrapbook. I have quite a bit of pages I need to catch up on. I'm gonna start off with like throwbacks and then like me and ryan and then like when we got married or honeymoon just like stuff like that into like now so i do have quite a bit to catch up and this is my little tote that i got from amazon my mom got it for me for my birthday i have like a little i guess we're gonna do what's in my scrapbook tote so i have this little acrylic organizer not acrylic it's like a plastic organizer from amazon and i have all of my tapes in here Oops, let me open it all of my scrapbook tapes the majority of it is from amazon but i did purchase some from sheen and what else um this little book of stickers is from amazon i also have my markers the the markers are from amazon and this acrylic This acrylic container is actually from Sheen. It was probably like a dollar. And then same thing with these like little containers, these little plastic containers. I got these from Sheen. They were like literally a dollar. This I got from Target. Um, but yeah, that is everything. Oh wait, no. I also have some scissors. I want to get some like wavy cutty scissors. I want to get them from Sheen because they're literally a dollar. Amazon, I think they're like 10 bucks. So I'm waiting to do a Sheen order. These pastel, oil pastel crayons are from Amazon. I have regular crayons and then this dual sided tape. This is a must to like tape everything together. And then in this pocket, I just have the refillable paper stickers for the printer. And that's everything that's in my little scrapbook tote. <laughs> so let's start scrapbooking. I'm gonna start with hers because I didn't do her five months and she's literally gonna be five, six months next week. So, let's begin. What, Riley? Mommy's gonna do your scrapbook. Mommy's slacking, she's, she is slacking. She didn't do your five months. Oh my goodness.
We have a stage five cleaner over here. I feel like this is turning into what I eat in a day video, but it's not. I just want to show you guys like the healthy meals that I'm making, but this is the pasta salad that I made earlier. I made it about an hour ago, and so that way the dressing can kind of marinate. And I'm going to pour about, actually no, I'm going to do arugula first. I'm going to put some arugula on the bottom. Just a little bit, nothing crazy. Just like add some like leafiness to it. And then... I'm gonna give this a good mix. I basically have bonza chickpea pasta. I have cucumbers, bell peppers, red onions, feta cheese. And then I made my own dressing, which is just olive oil, Dijon mustard, apple cider vinegar, oregano, salt, pepper, and I think that's it. And then for more protein, because the chickpea pasta does have protein, I'm gonna add a pack of this albacore tuna. That salad you guys saw me eat earlier, I actually ended up not eating it. I ate two of the chicken strips and like that was it. And just like a couple bites of the salad. <clears throat> I don't know, I just wasn't really, I wasn't really hungry. So I wasn't gonna like force myself to eat. So instead, later in the day while I was scrapbooking, I had a beef turkey stick. I got from Whole Foods and I just had like a protein bar and like that was it. So I'm so excited to eat and this is full of protein, which is exactly what I need. You watching mommy make food? Yeah, you got a little spit up on your face. I am so excited to eat. I'm not gonna lie, I've been slacking on my water, but I am gonna treat myself and have a Olipop grape. Actually, no, I'm gonna change it to orange just because we're having a citrusy dinner okay i lied we're gonna switch it to orange oh my god my dinner looks so good look at the avocado the chickpea salad okay first bite riley she loves watching me eat okay first bite i'm trying to get like a little bit of everything mmm Oh my God, it's so good. Ever since I stopped pumping, breastfeeding, I've been slacking on my water. Like I don't get my water intake in a day anymore. Like at all, like not even barely 40 ounces a day. I don't know why, so good. All right, y'all, I'm gonna enjoy this dinner. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom. And chit chat with her. I'm finally about to edit this vlog and I feel very productive right now, like literally so productive. Ryan is actually on his way home from his work event that he's been at since Sunday, today's Tuesday. So I'm excited to see him and it sucks though because tomorrow he's flying out to Georgia for the day for work. Um, so, you know, shout out to all the single moms out there that are doing it all themselves because it's a lot. <laughs> I mean, luckily I can hold down the fort pretty well with a baby and two dogs, but it's definitely a lot. <laughs> so I'm going to start editing this vlog. Not sure how much I will get done tonight, but I am going to sleep in a little bit. Sleep in meaning waking up at seven because that's the time that she starts her day. Um, usually I get about 5.36, but I'm gonna sleep until seven tomorrow because I'm going to, I wanna attempt to do a morning walk with her around the neighborhood and I want to put her in her new jogging stroller that I've had and I'm hoping that she's big enough for it now and then I'm going to do a like hot pilates session in my garage so the things I get excited for working out and taking Riley on a stroller on the neighborhood so I will chat with you guys tomorrow hey mama <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Hello, it is the next day and it's 12.40 p.m. Um, Riley is taking her second nap of the day and I just gave her her first baby food, homemade avocado puree made the other day. And she freaking loved it. I literally wanted to cry. She actually loved it. <laughs> I was like waiting for her to make like a yucky face or just like make some sort of face. And she actually really loved it and she ate like the whole teaspoon I gave her. I went to her clip right now and also my nail broke. So that's all you can see in the video because I also did a video on my phone and all you can see is my broken freaking nail. So that sucks. But I will insert the clip of me feeding her. <laughs> all right, someone is excited to start solids. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put this a little bit lower. Okay. What'd you think? Are we gonna start solids? What'd you think? I know, you're so excited. Put this on. Okay, are we ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Okay. <laughs> you like it? She seems interested. She just doesn't know how to swallow it. Mm. I can't believe I finally gave her food. So cute. I'm just eating a little beef stick right now. But she's so freaking cute. So I'm planning on giving her this avocado puree for a whole week. And then next week, I'm going to try sweet potato. So I'm actually going to end this vlog now because I have literally nothing else exciting going on today. I'm literally going to eat the same food I ate yesterday. And I'm just going to run out, drop off some packages that need to be returned, pick up a quick Walmart order, just a couple things, and take care of Riley. Last night, I finally started editing my vlog. And I actually almost finished last night. I have a couple more clips to finish up, so I'm hoping to finish it up tonight so that way it can be uploaded. I'm trying to get back on at least uploading once a week, but it's been hard. <laughs> but I'm hoping to get back on track. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this mom days in my life. I don't even know what to call these vlogs anymore. It's just me being a mom <laughs> and also me being a working mom because I do start my work week tomorrow. I think I might do a weekend vlog this weekend, even though I have nothing exciting going on. You know, just to be, con just to be consistent with my vlogs again. And thank you guys so much for commenting on my videos. I know I'm terrible at responding, um, but I do see all the comments and you guys are also sweet. Um, thank you guys so much for your patience as I like barely upload anymore. <laughs> But y'all are so sweet and thank you for the comments. But if you guys want to be like more, if you guys want to reach out to me and get more of a response from me, um, go and check out my Instagram. Send me a DM, um, send me a comment or something. I'm a little bit more responsive over there on my Instagram. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like this vlog was exciting because I got to, you know, scrapbook and I got to feed Riley food. I made her homemade avocado puree, which was amazing. It was so easy to make. And yeah, Ryan left this, Ryan came back home last night around 10 and then he left this morning at five in the morning to, to go to Georgia and he'll be back here tonight, tomorrow. And then he'll be back 
tonight for like good <laughs> no more traveling for a while so tomorrow we'll be back to normal schedule but anyways here i am rambling also forgot to mention this morning i went for a hot mom girl walk with riley and her new jogging stroller and i'm not gonna lie the jogging stroller the tires needed more air they were pretty flat so i only did like two laps around the block it was also her nap time so i ended up only walking for 30 minutes which was like a little bit over a mile so i did buy a bicycle tire pump at walmart so i'm gonna go pick it up later and then after the walk i put her to sleep and then i went in the garage and did a little bit of hot pilates tomorrow i'm just gonna do cardio at planet fitness because i've been doing pilates every single day so i'm just gonna give the pilates a break and i'm actually really sore also i lost another pound so i am nine pounds away from pre-baby weight yeah my hard work is paying off <laughs> i'm just still doing the, de the calorie deficit and then just working out like five days a week so yeah it's been working for me so if you are a new mom trying to lose that baby weight don't worry little by little you gotta be patient is what i've learned you gotta be patient with your body and just be consistent you know work out even if it means like walking around your neighborhood um doing an at home workout at home with your baby um doing some kind of movement is gonna help rather than nothing and then also eating healthy i feel like being on the calorie deficit has really been working efficiently so but anyways i'm gonna stop talking now <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog if you did don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye